Tyson versus Larry Holmes Ini adalah pertandingan yang dinanti-nanti oleh Tyson sejak kecil Begini kisahnya Pada Oktober 1980 Saat itu Tyson masih berusia 14 tahun Dia menonton petinju idolanya yaitu Muhammad Ali bertarung melawan Larry Holmes Saat itu Meski kondisi Muhammad Ali kurang baik karena didiagnosis menderita gejala penyakit saraf Parkinson, dia tetap memaksakan untuk bertarung. Akhirnya, Muhammad Ali pun kalah melawan Larry Holmes. Melihat idolanya kalah, Mike Tyson menangis dan sangat sedih. Dia berjanji akan membelas dendamkan Muhammad Ali. Dan pada tahun 1988, Mike Tyson melawan Larry Holmes. Inilah pertandingannya. Sebelum bertanding, terlihat Muhammad Ali juga hadir menyaksikan pertandingan ini. Dan bersalaman dengan Tyson Dan sesaat lagi Momen balas dendam Mike Tyson Akan dimulai Selamat menyaksikan Here we go Round one The heavyweight championship of the world Tyson quickly on top of Holmes And he nails him right away Larry ties him up the big question will Larry try to box him can that left jab keep him away so far Tyson is coming through it Larry trying to keep it in his face Larry almost looking awkward as he lunged forward with the left hand trying to keep it in the face looking almost certainly very very cautious with Tyson ties Tyson up we expect to see a lot of this throughout the fight Tyson showing no respect so far boring in the way he always does Larry not on offense at all so far. He's been strictly a defensive fighter in this the first round. Looking as though he's trying to survive this first round. Mike Tyson fighting as he has fought every other fight. Just attacking his opponent from the opening bell. Larry looking almost slow with that right, slow right hand went over the head of Mike Tyson. Of course, this is the way you would expect to see Larry fight him and wonder if it will frustrate the younger Mike Tyson. Tyson doing a nice job in this big 24-foot ring, cutting Holmes off in the corner. Larry lashes out with that left hand and then ties him up. Larry trying to take advantage of his reach advantage, keeping that left hand in the face of Mike Tyson. Tyson showing no respect for anything that Holmes does as he bores in, leading with the left hand. This is exactly the way to throw Tyson off balance by shifting left and right and left and right. But the big question is how long can Larry Holmes do it? Joe Cortez, the third man in the ring, the referee. Not a flush blow landed thus far in the fight. Larry Holmes really has only thrown about one or two punches so far and missed the first round. looking almost in fear of Mike Tyson in the first round. Mike not losing his cool. All right, let him go, let him go, Larry. Larry, let him go. Larry knows all the tricks of the trade. Knows exactly how to tie him up when he gets inside. He's not going to let Mike wail away with him. Larry, get him down, Larry. Let's go, come on. And from the fights we've seen before, you can't afford to allow Mike Tyson to get loose once you hang on to him because he's vicious with his uppercuts, left and right. Tyson just showing no fear of Holmes. Larry finally goes on offense at the closing bell. It's Tyson's round. This is round two, scheduled for 12. The undisputed heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Mike Tyson attacks Larry Holmes. Holmes tying him up with one hand and both trying to wail with the other hand. Tyson is attacking Holmes the same way he has on every other opponent he's faced. Larry lets a right hand go that catches Tyson. No damage done at all. One of the big questions, if in fact Larry can nail Tyson, we've never seen Tyson hit, so we don't really know how we will react to it. 
the way he's backing up, right, he's got go to do something a little bit more than this if he's going to try to win some rounds here. At the time they traded blows. Larry with a sneaky right, right hand almost caught Mike coming in. All right, break, break out, let him go. Let him go, Larry. 38 years old, Larry Holmes is in magnificent shape. Big question is how long can his legs stay strong? There's a lot of pressure on him constantly in this fight. He has to stay moving and stay moving on those legs away from Mike Tyson. Larry giving plenty of respect to the champion. Larry lets the right hand go, but Mike very slick ducks underneath it. Holmes comes with an uppercut of his own. Thus far in this round, we're at the midway point, a difficult round to score. Holmes looked again, almost awkward throwing that right hand. Joe Cortez, the referee, warning both fighters to watch the elbows. Larry just missed him with a right hand and almost nailed him on the chin. Larry got tagged that time, but he's all right. Tyson's blows just look so much heavier than when Larry throws a punch. Larry doing a nice job with the left, keeping it in the face, but the old Larry Holmes would have been snapping the left hand off. Instead, Larry's just holding it out, trying to keep Tyson off him, and then trying to land the right of his own. Thus far, he hasn't been able to really land anything. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Come on. 20 seconds to go in the second round. Let's go. All right, Larry, break. Larry, you're holding it, Larry. Let's go. Again, Tyson tries to put the pressure on Larry. Larry knows how to tie him up, and the bell ends round number two. Now, if Larry has come here to survive, it's not going to be much of a fight. Holmes uh, hasn't really opened up yet offensively. He's done a pretty good job defensively, but nonetheless, just based on aggressiveness and effective aggressiveness, you have to give Tyson the first two rounds. And if it continues this way, the same thing that happened in the Bone Crusher Smith fight, as well as the Mitch Blood Green fight, is going to happen in this fight. As we show you a replay, is Tyson boring in? Look at the look on Larry's face. He looks almost in total fear. He's off balance. Larry has got to start mustering some offense. He can't give away these early rounds like this and expect to be fresh at 38 years old as we get into the middle of late rounds. All right, this is round number three. Tyson runs from his stool, attacks Holmes. He's going to keep the pressure on him constantly. At 21 years old, he feels he can wear him down. And just Larry going three minutes for six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds if it goes that far. He's going to run out of gas unless he's in better shape than most people believe he can get his body in. But he's got to start mounting some offense. Through the right hand that time, it hit Mike, but grazed him on the chin. Mike shakes his head no. Mike is showing no respect for Holmes' punching power. Of course, Larry is a guy in his career that won his fights with accumulation of punches. Come on. Although he had at one time a wonderful streak of knockout wins, Holmes still won most of his fights by accumulating punches before his knockouts occurred. This is the third round. All right, three. Break out, three. Let's go. Get the arms out. Get him out. Let's go. Larry gets nailed by a crisp left hand as Tyson comes in. Right, down, down. Come on. And again, Tyson is doing what he was able to right, do break, in the first two rounds. Out, and that's just continue to win the round. We're halfway through this, the third round. Mike attacks. Larry has brilliant defense. 
Mike really hasn't been able to catch him flush yet. Larry tries to do something inside, and Mike counters by throwing four or five punches. Mike almost has to reach up to get his 5'11 and a half. Larry's 6'3. Mike's head is right in the face of Holmes. Holmes knows brilliantly how to tie him up. And how frustrating it is. Bring out clean, bring out clean. Let's go. Come on, Eddie. Larry with that left hand down, and he better not leave it down. He better keep it up in the face of this guy. Now Larry tries to work some uppercuts. This has been more of an aggressive round for Holmes, but not good enough to win the round. Twenty seconds to go, and this is the third round. Now Cortez says to Mike to keep your hands up. Oh, first good right hand landed. That was right at the bell. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. You're looking in my corner of Larry Holmes. You hear them talking to him. You got to go. Watch this. This is the part right at the end of the round. He caught Larry flush that time. Larry able to shake it off and come back with a shot of his own. Now the bell sounds here, and that was a situation which you hear some guys in the background yelling, you're a dirty uh, fighter or whatever. Mike, uh, who's had trouble with a bloody nose in training, has a bit of blood trickling from his nose now. But that's not a question of dirty fighting. When you hear the bell and you're in the middle of a combination of punches, you don't stop. So nothing dirty about the fight so far. Well, coming up to round number four, I believe Tyson has won all three of the first three rounds. This is round four. Let's see if Larry can pick up the offense a bit. Larry up on his toes now. This is the way a young Larry Holmes would have fought Mike Tyson. Now Holmes is gonna maybe going to open up some offense here. The crowd loves to see this. Larry definitely a sentimental favorite. You see that head right in the face of Larry Holmes. Nothing said by Joe Cortez about that. Here's Tyson attacking again. Larry knows exactly how to take away that punching power in tight. Larry has a more confident look on his face now than he had in the first round. Left hook caught him that time though. Can't get too cute with this guy. You've got to keep moving. All right, break, break out, break out, team, break out, team. Larry has all the rig savvy that a lot of the fighters that Mike Tyson has faced have not possessed. Tyson boards in, no damage done here at all. He's got that face right in the chin and the cheek of Larry Holmes again. And again, Larry knows how to tie him up. When Larry was up on his toes and sticking and moving with that left hand, that's the way to fight Mike Tyson. But a 38-year-old Larry Holmes cannot continue that round after round. Oh, a big right hand! And down goes the former champion! He was there right in the button! The count is up to six, seven, and eight. Larry is hurt. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this round. He's definitely hurt, his legs are gone, and in comes Mike. It was a big right hand. Larry's nailed again. Down he goes. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. It's up to four and five. His eyes are clear. It's up to seven and eight. He's going to be able to continue. Tyson knows he has him in trouble. It's just a matter of time. Larry will not survive this round. He's trying to fight back with everything he has. He's trying desperately. But this is not the same age man that was able to do it against Ronaldo Stipes. He goes with a big right hand. The left hook. Now he stays on his feet. Showing tremendous heart. Nail with the left hook. Holmes is getting set up for the right hand. Here it comes. The left hook come inside. There's the left. There's the right. Now he's ready to go again. He's hit with the left hand. 17 seconds. He may be able to get by the round now. He should be hanging on. Nail with the right hand, the left hand. He's gonna hang on. And he'll stop the fight. Down he 
goes. Oh, he's hurt. It's all over. He is knocked out. He didn't even bother the count. It was a vicious, vicious right hand. It came like a bolt. We looked for it, and Larry got hurt. A big right hand ends the career of the former champion. Kita lihat kembali video seran ulang di mana akhirnya di ronde keempat Larry Holm berhasil dipukul KO oleh Mike Tyson. Dengan tumbangnya Larry Holm, maka lunas juga janji Tyson ke Muhammad Ali. Begitulah kisah balas dendam Mike Tyson. Walaupun dendam itu jelek, tapi dendam Mike Tyson ini malah dapat menjadi prestasi bagi dia. Karena akhirnya dia masih mampu mempertahankan gelar juara dunia. Kadang dendam jika kita positif dapat menjadikan motivasi kepada kita untuk lebih maju. Terima kasih telah menyaksikan video ini. Semoga terhibur dan sampai jumpa di video berikutnya. Thanks.